So I'm sitting here at my desk and I just got a notification that the Miller v. Becerra uh, California Salt One Band case was just dropped, just pulled it up in the pacer. So um, bear with me. I'm going to read through this real quick to try to give you guys, uh, you know, just the quick, quick, you know, what is going on in this decision. And then I'm going to do a more comprehensive video likely down the road. So I'm just going to jump to the conclusion first uh, because that's usually where you get a bulk of the information. Um, and so I'm just going to jump to the order and it says judgment is entered for plaintiffs. The attorney general respectfully requests a stay of any judgment in plaintiff's favor for a sufficient period to seek a stay from the court of appeals. That request is drink granted. Therefore, the enforcement of the injunction is hereby stayed for 10 days. The following permanent injunction will be entered. And so then it says defendant attorney general Rob Bonta, his officers, agents, servants, employees, and attorneys, and those persons in active concert or participation with him, and those duly sworn state peace officers and federal law enforcement officers who gain knowledge of this injunction order or known of this existence or the, of the injunction order are enjoined from implementing or enforcing California Penal Code Section 30515, A1 through 8, which define the so-called assault weapons and the prohibited features, and then 30915. And then it says defendant Rob Bonta shall provide by personal service or otherwise the notice of the order. And then it states that this injunction is stayed for 10 days from the state of this order. So Judge Benitez, the saint that he is, comes through once again. He has struck down the California assault weapons ban. Um, I'm likely, you know, assuming he found it very unconstitutional. He's ruled against it before. Uh, he ruled against it prior to Bruin. And then even after Bruin, you know, he's had so much more authority. You know, in the introduction, I can see here he's citing the you know recent decision out of the Ninth Circuit of about Bowie knives or about knives. And so he's mentioning Bowie knives um, and then just kind of glancing through the introduction, which I did real, real quick um, just to get a quick idea of what was going on here. He's saying that, you know, although they're you can claim they're dangerous, but they are clearly in common use for lawful purposes. Um, so. You know, even after Bruin, we knew how this was going to shake out. The question now going forward is, how is this going to play out? We saw with the magazine ban decision, you know, he issued a favorable decision, striking down the magazine ban, putting a 10-day stay. The Ninth Circuit then, or the state of California went to the Ninth Circuit. Um, the Ninth Circuit ended up taking the Duncan magazine ban case on a comeback because that case had already made its way to the Ninth Circuit prior. That was the Duncan magazine ban case. Miller's a little bit different. And so, you know, the order, if you guys just want to know, the order, of course, is he's saying, yes, the assault weapons ban is unconstitutional. He's striking it down, but there's going to be a 10-day stay that starts from today. Now, the question a lot of you guys are asked, well, is the Ninth Circuit again just going to take this en banc immediately? Well, the Ninth Circuit could do that in the prior Duncan case because Duncan had already made its way to the Ninth Circuit en banc panel, had already been decided, and then after that made its way to the Supreme Court. Miller's different. Miller prior did make its way to the Ninth Circuit three judge panel, but I don't believe was ever even assigned to a three judge panel. There was an emergency stay that was granted in the original Miller decision, but Miller kind of set in a holding pattern and it was waiting for a decision in Duncan and was waiting on a decision in Bruin. And then once those happened, um, you know, Miller was then remanded back down from the Ninth Circuit to the lower court there, which was Judge Benitez. So it's very unlikely that the Ninth Circuit en banc panel is going to be able to take this en banc on an emergency basis and take, you know, the review of the emergency stay on that basis like they did in Duncan. So this will go the traditional route to a three judge panel. And then the question is, you know, who is that three judge panel going to be? Who is the emergency panel that reviews the potential stay going to be? And so that's the questions we're going to look at going forward. Of course, I'm going to do a more comprehensive breakdown of the decision going forward. But I just want to get you guys information because, you know, I saw this drop. This is something we've all been waiting for. Judge Benitez comes through again, has struck down the California assault weapons ban, found it unconstitutional, but there is going to be a 10 day stay from its enforcement. So it's not in effect yet. We still have to wait 10 days. But if we get any more information as you know, I break this down, stay tuned for a later video where we break this down even more. Um, but as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, make sure you're double checking your subscriptions because YouTube loves to unsubscribe people. So just make sure you double check your subscriptions and then make sure you have all notifications on because that helps you get this information. But as always, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and never forget this nation was built by armed scholars and this nation will be maintained by armed scholars.